Sorry, the lighting is not very good today in my video. It's too bright. So it actually looks dark. Let me see if I can make it darker. And then maybe it'll look brighter. <laughs> that doesn't really make much sense, but maybe it'll work. Let's see. I don't know if that worked or not. Sorry, I guess I should have figured out the lighting before recording, but I thought I would just, it looked bright in here. Okay, the puppies are all going after a lid that had some canned puppy food on it. And of course, their favorite place is the litter box. I don't know why. <laughs> My puppies always seem to do that. I was trying to catch one of the puppies. Um, there was a spoon that had some puppy food on it. That little fawn girl, uh, I was calling her Sydney Minnie. She is not exactly interested in eating food the way everybody else is, so she's getting some canned food. So it was her leftovers. But um, one of the puppies, one of the long coats, was just barking at the spoon like it was really interesting to bark at. And I was trying to catch that. I might have had a might have been able to catch a little video earlier but it's only a few seconds long so anyways here's a video of the puppies um, bears puppies those are all the smooth coats are eight weeks old now so I am trying to figure out which ones are going to be available um, so I'll be letting those of you on our deposit list know something within the next week, I promise. Um. Hey, hey little puppy. Hiding under there. Boop, boop, boop. Sorry, the lighting is pretty bad. I think it's funny when they lay down like that, stretched out. Hey, little boy. Hey, little boy. The long coats will be eight weeks next week on Monday. it doesn't matter how many toys we have give them something unusual like a spoon or a, a lid and it's more interesting <laughs> and I think that might be the girl let me check You're the girl. You're the girl. I had a feeling. <laughs> Hey, 
I have to give these two boys with white spots, or I'm sorry, white with black spots names to distinguish them from each other. I think I called one spotted on white and the other one white with black spots, but I don't remember who I called who. <laughs> I did post some pictures on my website and I think our Facebook page too from the photo shoot that Micah did. to say, uh, you know, usually I notice temperament differences that make it easier to match people up with puppies, but everyone has such nice temperaments that sometimes when all the puppies have nice temperaments, it's harder to match people up because it's like there's no wrong choice, really. Um, I think Depending on the day, the little, where'd he go? The smaller of, oh, that is him, okay. The smaller of this little guy here, um, the smaller of the two, he is has been a little more reserved, a little more kind of off, out of the mix. So I would say that maybe he's a little more calm versus the girl who is, uh, having a good old time with the spoon. And I have to say, I've got my eye on her, so. <laughs> I might not make my decision about her within the next week. That's what I'm thinking today um, about her. Little Cindy Minnie there. She's just kind of small and uh, she's playful, but she doesn't like to be roughhoused with by the big kids hey little boy hey with your floppy ears the black one is a girl Are you the reserved one? See, we have the static mat here and they're doing pretty well. <laughs> Respecting it. And I've said this before, I know some people don't like that I use these static mats, but they're a wonderful tool to offer the puppies more freedom for more places. And, uh, you know, if you don't have the ability to put a, a big gate across an area, I don't know that I would trust it to actually, I, I did say that it helps, you know, block something that's not safe. If something was really dangerous, I don't think I would trust the static mat because some of the bigger dogs or the more adventurous ones will sometimes decide to just run across it. But uh, it's definitely a great tool. And it usually just takes one day for them to get used to it and you can just have it on beep. And then they just learn to not cross it, cross the boundary. I think I have a couple links on our website on the Frequently Asked Questions page. Um, I've tried a couple different kinds. There's pros, of con pros and cons to each one. Hey guys, what are you doing back there? What are you getting into? Something. Somebody's, oh, I left some mail. <laughs> trash is right next to that area. <clears throat> well, my phone is ringing, so I'll record more later.